episode of Tribrarian. It's still February, so that means we're still trying out different awesome pizza recipes. So today, I have a very exciting um, thing that I want to try out, and that is making pizza crust out of cauliflower. Now, I know tons of people are doing like the keto diet or just trying to be a little bit healthier and use more vegetables in their diet, but it's really hard to resist pizza, especially when you're trying to be healthy. Apparently, it's really easy. First, you're going to need a medium-sized uh, head of cauliflower. You'll be needing two eggs, grated mozzarella cheese, or your favorite type of pizza cheese, canned parmesan, and then your favorite Italian bite. So here I have garlic powder, oregano, and basil. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and grate our cauliflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this into big chunks after I remove the stem here. For this, you're probably gonna want your big knife, so make sure if you're not comfortable with handling larger kitchen utensils, you have a helping hand. So here I'm just gonna take out the cauliflower stem. Now if you want, you can just save this and then chop it up into bits, fry it up, um, just like you would like maybe a potato or like a broccoli and cauliflower stem is actually pretty tasty Especially if you season it. So if you don't want to waste this either compost it or turn it into another yummy healthy snack But for this next part, I'm just gonna chop up my florets Just in a way so it'll fit into my blender So you can use a blender, a food processor, whatever you have handy. And just pop them right in there. All right, now I have all of my cauliflower nice and pulverized. Uh, most of the consistency I've been hearing is that it needs to be the consistency of snow. I know that dreaded word that we don't really like right now, but that's how you kind of want it. So it's gonna be nice and chopped up and it's gonna kind of stick together like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a microwave safe bowl for our next step. For our next step, we're gonna go ahead and take all of our freshly ground cauliflower and we're going to put it in the microwave for five minutes. That's going to help it release any of the moisture and it's also going to help it become a little more tender. So it's gonna become more like dough and less like vegetables, which is what we're going for. Now that we are waiting for our cauliflower to cook in the microwave, now is a great time to go ahead and uh, grate up our mozzarella cheese or our favorite pizza cheese. And it's also a great time to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Our cauliflower is nicely cooked and we have all of our ingredients prepped and ready to go. Now, this just came out of the microwave so it is very hot to the touch and we're gonna wanna let it cool for just a few minutes until you're able to hold onto it because our next step is to squeeze all of the water out of there. While you're waiting for your cauliflower to cool, it's a great opportunity to bring out your more preferred pizza palette of choice. This I have just a metal pizza pan and I'm gonna go ahead and line that with parchment paper so it's ready for me to spread out my crust when I'm ready. For this next part, we're gonna want a nice, clean, thin cloth, whether it's cheesecloth or just a regular dish cloth that you have. You're gonna lay it out nicely onto your counter and just go ahead and dump this whole bowl of cauliflower right into the center there. Now you can still see it's a little hot, so be careful to the touch. So I'm just gonna pick this all up like so. and give it a good turn over a bowl. And I just wanna squeeze all of that excess water that is coming out of my cauliflower. If it's still too hot after this process, just go ahead and let it sit for a few more minutes until you're able to handle it. Now that we have everything set and our, do our cauliflower dough has been wrung out nicely, you can see that it's gonna retain its shape. It's still a little bit warm. Um, but that's going to be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding in all the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to need 
one cup of grated mozzarella, half a cup of canned Parmesan, two eggs. Next comes our spices. So that's going to be a teaspoon of garlic powder, And then you're gonna need half a teaspoon of both oregano and basil. And of course, as everyone knows, when it comes to garlic and spices, you measure with your heart, so it doesn't need to be exactly one teaspoon of each of those. But now we're gonna go ahead and mix all of this together. And now that it is all fully combined, we move on to the construction phase. So with our parchment lined, uh, baking sheet here or whatever your pizza implement is. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this right out onto the center of it. Getting as much of that cauliflower as possible. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down into a pizza crust shape. Ta-da! We now have a beautiful pizza-shaped crust here. So this is gonna go into our oven that we've already preheated for 425 degrees, and this is gonna go in for 10 to 15 minutes. Just keeping an eye on it, making sure that it's a little bit golden, you don't want it to get brown around the edges or anything like that. So let's go pop this in the oven. It has been about 15 minutes, and now I have this beautiful golden crust that is forming, so I think it is ready to take out of the oven. Now we're ready to turn this into pizza. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your favorite tomato sauce. And onto toppings. This is also great if you go ahead and add any kind of toppings you want. You want peppers, go ahead and give Gabby's vegan pepperoni that she did last week. See if you can make that. And now that I have my cheese and my sauce and it now resembles a pizza, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven for about 10 to 12 more minutes. Oh, and here is our final product. A beautiful, gloriously cheesy pizza. I'm excited to see how it tastes, but the crust isn't super soggy. No, it is, it's not gonna hold as nicely as a traditional crust because it's cauliflower, but I think it's gonna taste just as good because it sure smells as good. Gotta get that glorious cheese pull. Now here's the bottom of it. See, it does break apart a little bit. Now, I think I might have to drain the water a little bit more from my crust next time, but it sure looks good. Let's see how it tastes once it cools off a little bit more. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this tastes. I'm going to say it's fat so, but it's a the cauliflower definitely probably needed to be maybe a little bit more um, in smaller pieces and maybe that would have helped it stick together just a little bit more. But it's really, really yummy um, and I'm glad that I tried it. So if you're looking for a healthy alternative to your weekly pizza consumption, I would highly recommend trying out the recipe. As always,